I just thought living in Baltimore was, was kind of the normal thing. You know, being on the water, living on the water, always surrounding myself with water. I started swimming at seven. The first couple of years, I was afraid to put my face underwater. water. Just wasn't comfortable. Eventually, just put it in and off I went. You know, I spent so much time around it and so much time in it that, you know, it's kind of like we're one. Anything is possible as long as you want it, you'll work for it. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. The only person that can really put pressure on you is yourself. As soon as I walk in the door, everything else that is going on in my life doesn't matter. It's like my brain shuts off. I don't have to think about anything. I'm there to swim. That's it. You know, I don't see myself being some superhuman person. I consider myself just a normal human being who found a passion that they love and doesn't give up. 20 years have gone by and the memories are just keep piling up. If I can look back at my career and say I've done everything I've wanted to, then, then I think it's a success. I recently opened up uh, swim schools on the East Coast. I wanted to take swimming to a new level. I wanted to grow the sport of swimming. You know, being able to just shoot up to the city and come here to the pool where I grew up at to help kids learn how to live healthy and active lifestyles, seeing them succeed through life, it makes you feel good at the end of the day. I'm living a dream right now. Everything that I've done is something that I always thought of doing. It's a pretty cool feeling.